Hi guys, this is a tutorial on how to remove the valves from an Alfa Romeo boxer engine. Um, today I'm using the 16 valve engine as an example. Uh, as far as I know, this procedure is the same for 8 valve engines. So let's take a look. Um, this is the starboard head, which I'll be using as the example. Um, there you can see the tablet covers, and once you take them off, there's the valve assembly. Um, just for reference, here's the port head that I've already taken the valves out of, except for the valve guides, as you can see. And also clean it up as best I can here in the workshop. Um, so first of all, you take out this um, tappet cover, so you can see what we're dealing with. Um, if it's seized up by the oil, just get the magnet onto it, and um, just take them out there. I'm doing with this one hand, sorry. Um, I'm just storing all the different parts in a labelled um, Ziploc bag, just for reference. So now you can see the valve assembly um, with the half cotters in there and the end of the valve stem. Um, so let's just uh, get going with this. So what you'll need, I'm just using workshop tools, I'm not using the valve removal tool that you can buy. Um, you'll need that magnet I had, just a extending locating magnet. Um, any kind of long socket, I'm using the same socket I used to remove the spark plugs from this engine. Um, and any kind of scrap, just a long bit of metal with a hole in the middle that can fit the magnet through it. Um, this just happens to be an aluminium piece from my scrap heap, but um, yeah, any scrap metal will do. So, first of all, what you want to do is put the magnet through here, extend it a bit so you can use it a bit, and then you want to, you can see where the half cotter split is, so you put the magnet next to one of the halves just as best you can, doesn't really matter if your magnet's powerful enough, and then rest the um, rest the socket in the middle of the valve there, place your metal piece over there, and then you're going to have to push down quite hard because the, there'll be a mechanical seal on it, similar to on the, um, the tie rod ends when you take them out because of the half cotters tapers, so you just push down nice and firm there. You'll hear a crack when it opens up. So you shouldn't have removed anything though. The half cotters are still in there. So now that it's broken, you can just have another go. Making sure it's centered there so you don't hurt yourself or anything like that. You just push down. And you'll hear a slight click as the magnet picks up one of the half cotters. So there you go. I'm not worried too much about um, dirt or anything, although I've cleaned all the parts down as best I can, because I'll clean them properly later. So there you can see one of the half cutters is still in there. So I'll just repeat this procedure for the other half cutter. Most tutorials will just, um, they'll probably show you without this um, bit of metal here, but I've found the um, boxer engine with its twin springs um, needs a fair bit more force, so I've found I need this piece of metal here. There we go. So now the half cutters are out, um, it's just a simple step of removing the um, top hat, give it a bit of a wipe so you don't get the place all greasy, oily sorry. Um, there's the outer spring and inner spring and the bottom washer, see that? And the manual will show you how to put all that back together, although it's pretty straightforward. So don't worry too much about remembering anything tricky. Up 
after that. Let's tip the engine up, the head up, and the valve should just push out like that. And there you go, except for the valve guard, which I'll take to the shop to get out. Alright, thanks for watching.